Looks like I found the, the sneaky bitch rat. That You really think you can take a vagabond? We need to get back You're right, quick. Keep moving so I don't have to. You better. Look where you're going. Like Touch me again, and there'll be consequences. Touch me again, and there'll be consequences. Hey, you're that fresh face Gaunt mentioned. Good. Listen up. We got hit hard just there, but we managed to kill or capture every attacker, except one. I noticed a scout hang back and leg it when things swung our way. If they're bringing back up from the Isle of Dogs, we could be toast. I need you to stop them. They look to be beelining for the comm station north of here. I've got someone to trip the power on it remotely, but that'll only hold them so long. Go snuff out the hornet before it brings back the nest. The scout was a young lass. Denim fatigue, spiky hair. Should be easy to spot. Now go. If you need medical attention, I can take a look at you. But I can't do miracles. And wipe those questions off your tongue. We've got no time for that. Need help? Can't say I've treated a survivor of a rail accident before. This'll be interesting. There. You were suffering from some kind of psychological distress, probably brought on by the crash. That remedy should do the trick. Just remember those breathing exercises.
What do you want? Rah! Shit. I, I don't want to die. Please, don't hurt me. I only joined the syndicate last week. I was just in it for the money. I never wanted to see no blood. Please, please let me live. I promise I'll leave this gang shit behind. Legend! Bodies getting shot done, never hurt anything. If I'm watching you, at least two others are doing the same. Don't try nothing. seem efficient. I like that. Gaunt said to give you some tickets for your troubles. Here. <laughs> You're really not from these ends, are you? Tube tickets, money, dosh, moolah. What we use for trade round here. It's the standard currency all over London. Over here is the Swan and Mitre, the most ancient pub in the whole of London. Us vagabonds have had our home here for decades. Even through the toughest times. We have some other safe houses, but let's keep them ash for now. Follow me and I'll get you acquainted with our chiefs. It's not just a loss of men. We're hurting for ammo and other supplies. They keep hitting us like this, and they'll win for attrition. Fucking dogs. We should hit them back, right this minute. Easy now. Something stupid like that is exactly what they want to provoke. We've got to keep our heads. Sorry to interrupt, chaps. I brought that newcomer along. I've got no time for the detritus right now. Nelson, find something useful for this one to do. The rest of you, scrub! I need to go think. Never mind what Gaunt says, sweetie. He's a hard one, but he's been through a lot, and he bears a lot on his shoulders. He's got a big heart, really. Has been ever since both his parents died. Poor lad. He's a good boss. He cares a lot for all of us. He just don't always show it so well. The Isle of Dogs Syndicate has hurt us all in different ways. Some have scars you can see, some have scars you don't see. Hope was hurt deep. I've got to go now, but stick around, sweetie. We're good people when you get to know us. Why, newcomer? I think I still hear you breathing over there. Come over here and we'll have a gob. 
Sir Winston said they fished you out some lamp down the pinder. If I still had eyes, I'd say you were pulling the wool over him. But Gaunt backed him up, and he's not the fanciful type. Well, pleased to meet you, Wayfarer. My name's Blind Nelson. I'm Sebastian's right-hand man, and I was the same to his father back when he was the boss of the Vagabonds. I can't see no more, but I've been round the houses far longer than anyone else here, and my brain still ticks as good as ever. Well, check out the eyes on this one. Yeah, there's a bunch of us commuters about. Something to do with radiation and whatnot. I never much cared why. I lost my skin to it back when I was young, and I've stayed like this ever since. You get used to it. There are some what call us ghouls. Cheeky bastards. Feel free to ask around. We're always short-handed here and there. I've got a bit of work for you myself, in fact. Simple fact is, my radio's broke, and I'm lost without it. Sebastian keeps me around for what brains I have, but without my radio, I'm deprived of some very necessary intel. I need someone with a pair of eyes and a pair of legs to fix it. You fit the bill, right? Here's the broken radio. Go find Chill Winston and ask him if he has any parts to fix it. Bullet Tooth Anthony is a workbench for when you got the bits. Bring it back here when it's all working smoothly and you're done. Easy, right? You got the radio done up? Not the fastest fish in the tank, are ya? All right, I'll wait some more. If you hang around, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Hello, mate. Nice to see you again. What can I do you for? I'm Quartermaster. I try to keep supplies topped up. Keep things running smoothly. Not easy, you know. But I'll make sure we get by. Why, we're the loveliest group of lads and lasses you'll find around any part of London. We're not loonies running around pretending to be knights. And we're not posh trash trying to lord it over everyone. We stand up for the little people. And we keep our neighbourhood safe. What more could you ask for? They're squared up in Canary Wolf, acting all poncy like Bunch of clowns, if you ask me. But they're also our sworn enemies, and a lot of the cause of our supply shortages. I keep telling the lads, shoot your bullets accurately for a dog's skull, and you'll have more bullets left for more dogs. Everyone's happy then. Oh, hey, let's have a butcher's. Looks like he needs a new antenna. I'll have one in a box somewhere, I'm sure. But look, whilst I'm rooting around for that, I've got a job for you. One of my main suppliers is running late with a delivery, and she's never late. I'm worried something's gone wrong, but after the latest attack here, I can't leave my post to see. I want you to nip down to Nadia's on Deptford Ice Street to check in on things, and get me the package if it's ready. By the time you're back, I'll have the antenna for you. My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. Oi! Why that smarmy look off your face before I have one of my friends do it for you? What, you think we don't know this place is a dump? Don't get cheeky with me, son. We got enough comedians around here. The name's John the Screw. I'm the one in charge of fixing up this pub that you so clearly think you're better than. Hell no. The Swan and Mitre used to be the finest pub this side of the Thames. The Jewel of Bromley it was, right up until those pikey twats from the Isle of Dogs trashed the place. We've been trying to rebuild ever since, and if it weren't for those balmy nutters over at Bromley DIY, we might well be done by now. You know what? That gives me a brilliant idea. How would you like to make a few tickets for a quick job? Well, the reason the Swan still looks like the town tip isn't because I've been sitting on my ass doing nothing. We're up to our eyes in repairs and running loan supplies, fast. Typically, I'd send one of the leads down to Bromley DIY to pick up what we need. But the last time I did, a junkie blindsided him with the business end of a sledge. Now, nobody wants to go near the place. But you seem like an odd sort. If you were to go take care of the hooligans down at the DIY so we can continue our work, I'd certainly make it worth your while.
Mad as a bag of chemmed up ferrets they are, and dangerous. You ever seen a junkie grip a hammer when they're backed into a corner? Knuckles as white as the Queen's ass. But, you know, keep them at arm's length and you should be aces. Brilliant, mate. You're doing me a huge favour. Bromley DIY is just up the road. You can't miss it. More bodies getting shite done, never hurt anything.
Hello. I guess I have you to thank. Those hooligans were ruining my lovely shop. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Good old vagabonds looking after us measly shopkeepers. Us poor lowly dealers subject to the whims and terrors of fate. We're very grateful, we are. Well, well, <laughs> I have that Winston fellow's package here. Take it to him, will ya? My usual runner got scared off and now I've got some clear up to do. But listen here, I am grateful to you for helping out. You need some supplies? I will give you the best prices. All ethically sourced, of course. Anything catch your eye? Take a look. Take a look. Farewell.
You got the delivery then. Thanks for that. And I'm glad Nadia's okay. She's one of my sharpest suppliers. I found the part for the radio you were after. Here you are. If you need a workbench to fix it, check with Bullet Tooth Anthony. He's usually down the basement. If you hang around, it wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Hello, uh, Sunshine. The name's Bullet Tooth Anthony. What you after? I fix up weapons, do repairs and maintenance. That sort of thing. We're the best brutes in Bromley. Won't find better than us. If we can get us some more weapons, we'll be a proper force to be reckoned with. I always say, the only good dog is a dead dog. Those syndicate buggers have a lot to answer for. You don't need to know more than that. No chance, Sunshine. I'm trying to fix up an old laser rifle I found, and it's laid out in a hundred pieces right now. You dare mess that up, and I'll have your head off. But look, you find me a piece to replace an old crystalline photon agitator, and I'll be able to finish it off. Then the workbench is all yours. Most messes of old scrap electronics will have something useful in them. You can generally salvage them in old supply stores, or some of the traders in Lewisham should sell them. to be a farmer. But I'll get me hands dirty in other ways. I wouldn't tarry if I were you.
Hey.
bodies getting shite done, never hurt anything. Oh, well, you're back. Brilliant. You're a lifesaver, mate. Now I'll be able to get this place back to its former glory in no time. Here's the tickets as promised. Also, before you go, I want to give you something that's meant a lot to me over the years. But I think you've earned it. It's my lucky Rad Rat Smasher. Hopefully after we make these restorations, I won't be needing it anyway. My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. Again, sunshine. What you after? Ah, lovely jubbly. Give it here, and I can get it cleared up. Here we are. A fully restored Upton Burke Class C laser rifle. Ain't it a beaut? Absolute shite that keeps breaking after ten shots, mind. But it'll bugger up anything it hits before then. Now, you had some gizmo you wanted patched up. And it here, and I'll sort it for you. Let's see, out with the old, in with the new. I can tidy these frayed wires too. This is quite the old bit of junk Nelson's hanging on to. Well, it's all fixed, but it looks like the battery is knackered. I've got none of the right sort here, but Johnny Shrapnel should have him in spades. He's usually hanging out back by the chem station. <clears throat> oi, oi, if it ain't that lab rat, the fuck you want? It's cause of this little beauty I've got lodged in me skull. A reward for some dodgy demolitions testing. But that's just how things go sometimes when you're a professional bomb maker. No pain, no pain, eh? Your vet says I need to get it taken out before it kills me. But I say nah. Makes me sharper, this does. Sometimes you need a little reminder that if you don't put your life on the line, then maybe you're not really living. And I'm sure there ain't no lead in it. Mostly sure. The heroes of London we are. Protectors of the peace, defenders of the downtrodden, all that sort of thing. Well, that would be nice if it were true. Fact is, the dogs have been doing us dirty for a long time, and every week feels a little harder than the last. We'll pull through, though. We always have. Right? Bunch of traitorous little shits is what they are. You can't trust them. We've been stuck in a bloody war with the Syndicate ever since the Red Treaty, 
And at every stage, they keep beating us back. They're led by a chap called Thomas Black. And he's got more smarts than a lot of us put together. No matter what we do, he's able to outmaneuver us. Most everyone here has lost someone to him. For some here, revenge is about all that keeps them going. Could help, sure. But I've got my own problems to worry about. Listen, give me an hand with something delicate and I'll see what I can sort for you. Mickey's been having a barney at me for blowing up his hat. And yes, yes, I did blow up his hat. And don't you mind how or why? But at the end of the day, it's just some damn cloth, right? Well, fancy pants Mickey don't see it that way. And I can't keep going on with him giving me the evil eye all day. He's freaking me the fuck out. So I found him something to make up for things. But if I go trying to give it to him myself, I just know I'll say something stupid and ruin it. Why don't you go have a go at delivering it for me? Make him accept the damned apology and I can sort you out with a new battery. More bodies getting shite done never hurt anything. Touch me again and there'll be consequences. Didn't your mum teach you better? Hello, Gov. My name's Mickey. Can I help you with something? So that shrapnel brain pillock thinks he can just fob me with some token. That was my favourite hat he ruined. Tell him to fuck off. Does he really? That's pretty new for Johnny. Well, all right then. I'll take his apology if it means that much to him. Thanks, Gov. Get Mickey to take the gift. Smashing. I wasn't sure how that would go. I'm glad he didn't try to kill you. Now, you wanted a battery for that radio. Give it here, and I'll see what I've got. Blimey, this is old. Where do you even get something as tongue as this? I'll have to wire up a couple of nine volts to get this to work. Uh, let's see. Here you go. All done. And thanks once more for your help with Mickey. If you hang round, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. You got the radio done up? You took your damn time about it. Where'd you go to fix it? As a buy on? Well, better late than never, I guess. Cheers. Don't know what I'd do without this. Now, let's have a listen to what's happening out in the smoke. Make sure you're all on high alert. The execution of the Vagabond prisoner will take place in Indiscan Square in Millwall. We're expecting a massive crowd, so we need all hands on deck. If you're IODS in Millwall, be there. We're going to send a message to these two-bit punks. Nobody bombs a Syndicate train station and gets away with it. Oh, for fuck's sake, turn that damn thing off. Why'd you even bring me this stupid radio anyway? You were just trying to upset me, weren't you? Where's Yvette? She's the one who vouched for you. I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Ah, that's right. She left in a hurry, said she had a mission of some kind. Oh, God damn it. I would say there's a 90% chance that she's about to do something stupid and find herself knee-deep in shit. Hey, listen, mate. Sorry I lost it on you a second ago. Y you did good with the radio. I need you to do something else for me now. Something much more important. A rescue of sorts. I need you to go to Millwall and make sure Yvette hasn't done anything too stupid. 
And if she has, I need you to unfuck the situation. She's got roots there. And you don't need to be Sherlock fucking Holmes to figure out she's gonna make sure that poor soul headed to the hangman isn't one of her people. Bring a vet back in one piece and I'll make it worth your while. I don't know the whole story, just what I've been told. She had a brother once upon a time. Apparently he found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time and the syndicate did what the syndicate does to rival gang members, turned him into kibble. So, obviously, she has a bit of an axe to grind, but so does everyone else here, so who gives a shit? Just another syndicate sob story. Join the bloody club. Scum of the fucking earth. Calling them the Isle of Dog Syndicate is an insult to mutts everywhere. Isle of bloody sheep shaggers and pikies is more like it. Just saying their name puts a bad taste in my mouth. It weren't always like that, though. We used to be allies, right up until they plunged a knife in our backs and stole what's rightfully ours. They took almost everything. Our territory, our rackets, Gabriel. The bastards brutalised him. He were my best mate, and he made the Vagabonds a name to be feared in East London. But he's the one who made the mistake to trust them. I hate to say it, but he brought it on himself, and by extension, all of us. Anyway. Listen to me going on like a chatty housewife after Sunday service. All you need to know is the Syndicate is bad fucking news. Keep clear of them if possible. Gabe Gaunt, Seb's dad. He were our fearless leader until he decided to trust the dogs. Led us through the first gang war years back he did. He were an incredible strategist, ruthless. But deep down, he wanted to see the good in people. A right foolish mistake in times like these. Paid for it with his life and the lives of most of our men. We came up together. He really was the best man I've ever known. But he's also the reason we're having this conversation in the dilapidated old pub as the vagabonds scrap and claw for even a fraction of what we once had. Needless to say, my feelings about him are a bit complicated. Have I been talking to myself, or did you not hear the part about this gang having trust issues? There is no we until you've proven yourself beyond a shadow of a doubt, lab rat. Find Yvette, then we'll talk about becoming a we. All right. Millwall is absolutely lousy with syndicate dogs. You can't throw a bloody rock without hitting one of them and it bouncing off and hitting a relative there shagging. If they find out you're with us, you'll be ripped apart by rabid dogs before you can say Bob's your uncle. You should be fine, because you're a fucking nobody, but regardless, you should keep a low profile. Brilliant. Head north to Millwall and don't come back until you find a vet. Tell a blind Nelson's looking for her. The fastest route across the Thames is through the Greenwich foot tunnel. My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. Hey there, young'un. Not from these ends, are you? My name's Sid. Though the boys here call me Sabretooth. I'm looking for a little help with something. I can make it worth your while. Listen here. I'm only telling you this as you're an outsider. But I'm no good with my letters, see? My ma always wanted me to learn them. But my da said it would make me weak in the head. Well, I'm getting old now, and I've had my share of adventures, but my one big regret is never learning how to read proper. Maybe now I can finally play catch-up, but I don't want the boys here knowing about this. That's why I'm looking for help from someone like you. I've got a little something special for you, if you can get me the goods I need. You in? That's kind of you, kid. It ain't easy keeping this secret, but... Maybe there's hope to learn, even at my age. I know some basics. If I can get the right materials, I'm sure I could get better. Thing is, there's bug rule to read round here. Some old menus and magazines, but no proper books. And I need me some books if I want to learn proper reading. You ever hear of a library? Used to be loads of them before the war, all full of books. They're mostly ruined now, but there's a few still about. There's one not far from here, in fact. Simple enough, but mine for the ghouls about.
Get me three or four books and decent nick, and I'll give you something special in return. Nothing too hard. Kid stuff, even. I need to start out simple. If you can find it, there's a little story called Dove's Dilemma I remember from when I was young. It'd be nice to see you again. Thanks. If you hang around, you wouldn't hurt nothing. We need the numbers. 